to Baseline Farms. My name is Jade. So we have been quite busy today. So today I started some more seeds. I started some more peppers. No, not peppers, tomatoes. I started peppers. Why do I keep saying peppers? Tomatoes. I did not start any more peppers. I started tomatoes, basil, um, I believe some cucumber. And I think that's pretty much it. And so, um, yeah. So we have some, oh, and some more artichokes. I did plant some more, I started some more artichoke seeds because artichokes are perennials in our zone. And I did not know that. So I figure I might as well start all of the artichoke seeds and then just get them started now and see what happens. So now we do have some artichoke seedlings that just recently popped up. So that's so exciting. But right now I'm gonna show you what I've been doing. So I have been back here. Um, this is a part of our property that I have not taken you back here and we have a few pomegranate trees and it looks like we have one two three four five six seven eight eight pomegranate trees back here um so these pomegranate trees john planted i want to say back 2005 or 2006 and um we just haven't there's no irrigation back here so in order to water them we have to hand water them but from what i've been reading up on pomegranates are drought tolerant so they do really good in our uh, zone which is zone 9b so we have not trimmed these up at all. I think John did a couple, like maybe some trimming here and there very lightly, but um, yeah, they haven't really been pruned or trimmed or anything. And so what I've been reading up about is that it is a good time to trim the trees right now while they're still dormant and while it's still considered winter. So, so let me just show you what I have been doing. Okay. So here is one of the pomegranate trees. Now I feel you guys, I feel like I might've over trimmed it. I mean, it was so bushy in here and I thought I was doing some good by, um, you know, really clearing it out. So what I ended up doing was any branches that were crisscrossing or anything like that, um, I just cut off. So I also did one right over here, right there, which that was the last one I did. And then this one right over here. And I don't know if you can see that really well. This one right here. So I trimmed out all the suckers. There were so many suckers growing in from the inside. And so I trimmed that all out and I cleared it all out so there was some good airflow. So now this is what they did look like. Now we have quite a few of them that still look like this. Um, I don't know if you can see that, how bushy and unruly that is. And here's another one. That one right there. So I have not trimmed up those because I want John to come out here and take a look at these and make sure that I did not over trim them because I feel that I might have over trimmed them. Oh my goodness, and I almost forgot. Today is February 15th, so happy Valentine's Day. Uh, yesterday, I completely forgot it was Valentine's Day. I was actually, the day before, I was really on top of it. I baked some cookies with little heart-shaped cookies, you know, little sugar cookies. And then for some reason on Valentine's Day, I just completely forgot. I don't know. <laughs> but at least I remembered on the 13th. So yeah, so that is what's been happening back here over by the pomegranates. But let me give you a quick tour of what is happening inside the big garden. Okay, so over here, we have our red onions and the onions are looking so good. Now it has been pretty windy. It did rain a little bit and it's been pretty windy yesterday. It was really windy, but, um, and so things have been drying out. So I've been having to hand water a few, a few things and I really need to get this irrigation done because some of them, you know, I just need to cap off a couple of them. The one with the multiple drip lines. But yeah, this is how the onions are doing. And I feel like the onions are getting big enough where I can make some onion top pesto. And then someone asked me to do some more cooking, um, cooking videos. So yeah, I'm gonna start doing some little cooking videos and things like that. I'm not a very good cook. I just started learning how to cook and um, you know, just kinda practicing. <laughs> So, so far so good. All right, so here are the beds. Uh, this is the bed with the netting on top and um, there's some carrots right here that are doing really good and the spinach. The spinach is looking so, so good. Ever since I put this netting up, the birds haven't been able to eat the spinach. So now I'm actually getting some spinach where I feel like I can actually harvest some spinach soon. 
man, I feel like I should have put the netting on sooner because some of the spinach is actually, you know, pretty big. And I felt like, you know, if I had put the netting on sooner, maybe I would have been able to eat some spinach next time. I'll remember that. Okay, so over here we have our garlic and the garlic is looking fantastic. No complaints. <laughs> now I have been doing all kinds of research and um, reading up on, you know, how to plant vegetables because this is, this is by far the biggest garden I have ever had. And um, so I'm gonna do some companion planting this year. Okay, so here's the lemongrass. Haven't done anything with the lemongrass, but we have harvested some lemongrass and I did make a bunch of lemongrass soup. And then over here we have our blackberry and our blackberry is doing still really good. Um, nothing, nothing fancy happening, but there is um, a lot of new growth. A lot of new buds are growing in. So that's so exciting. I cannot wait to harvest some blackberries. Okay, so over here in this bed, this is the bed that we had all of the lettuce in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the spinach and I'm gonna plant some more cauliflower because I feel it was the birds that were eating the cauliflower seeds. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plant some more cauliflower in here. I'm gonna plant some more spinach in here. And uh, yeah, and I'm just, I wrote a list down for every bed of what I plan on planting in it and what I plan on starting and things like that. But this cauliflower, take a look at this. Do you see that? Look at that. <laughs> that is so exciting. My first cauliflower, which I hope I plant some more and I'll get some more cauliflower, which will be so awesome. So yeah, any of the leaves that are low to the soil, I just kind of trim off just to keep it so that there's no bugs or pest, you know, nothing, nothing gonna get onto the plants. All right, so now off to the broccoli. All right, so here is the broccoli, and the broccoli is doing fantastic. Okay, so I'm trying out something a little new. Um, I've seen it in a lot of videos. I've seen it in a lot of catalogs. I've seen it in other local farms around the neighborhood that they've done this little method, trellising method. It's not, I don't think it's a trellising method, but what I did was I found some PVC pipe out in our field. We have a, you know, scrap pile. So I found some PVC pipe and some wrought iron, yeah, wrought iron. And so what I did was I pounded the wrought iron into the corners and then I just put the PVC pipe. So I think I need a couple more just to make it so it doesn't droop down, the netting doesn't droop down in the center. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put a couple more and then do it to the other bed that has the netting and maybe to any other bed that I do that I put netting on top of, I'm gonna do the same. Because then that way I could do the, um, the frost fabric in case there's a frost or anything like that could protect all of our vegetables. Now over here is the celery. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna take out the celery. It's not really doing good. It's just a, uh, you know, I don't even know what it's supposed to look like right now. So I can't even tell if it's doing good or not. But um, it just hasn't really grown at all since I planted it. And it's been in here for, you know, I wanna say since October or November or something like that. But yeah, I'm gonna start fresh with this bed and clear it out and then, um, you know, plant something else in there. All right, so here are all our carrots. The carrots are just doing fantastic. And I am so happy with the carrots. The cabbage is looking really good as well. Show you, look at that. It's doing so well. Everything's doing really, really well. It's just I don't have any cabbages left yet. And then over here, oopsie daisy, over here we have our Myers lemon. And yeah, no lemons yet. But it's okay because I'm patient. <laughs> Cannot wait to get some lemons. Oh, the Brussels sprouts. Yeah, we have some Brussels sprouts right here too. And the Brussels sprouts, which I thought this was Brussels sprouts, but it's starting to look like cabbage. Hmm, like the head of it. Ooh, there's a snail. Oh no. Oh, I hate snails. Oh, okay. So let's get that little snail out of there. Snails are no good for the garden. Oh, I hate snails. Okay, there you go. Give it to the chickens. But yeah, so 
that is a uh, i don't know if those are brussels sprouts i thought i planted brussels sprouts but as i'm looking at it it kind of looks like some cabbage hmm that is pretty interesting interesting i have to go back and look at my list and see what i planted in that but i could have sworn i took it out of the brussels sprout package but that's what's happening in the um make sure the snail doesn't get away in the garden in the big garden and then the little garden you know just a bunch of yellow onions white onions red onions garlic it's all doing very very well my goodness all these animals so yeah, everything's doing really well. I ordered my chickens. I am so excited. So I was able to order them online from Stromberg's and, um, and then I was able to place my order. So I am so excited. I ordered some, um, some chickens. I, got, I think they're called Copper Moran and they're supposed to give you the really chocolate, chocolate eggs. So I am so excited for that because I love a colorful egg basket. I didn't realize how much I liked it until, um, until I actually started really paying attention. <laughs> and it's just fun. It's just fun to be able to, when you give them away, to have so many different colors in the, um, you know, in the carton. Okay, so here we go. Let's show you what is happening over here. So here's all the onions. See how big it's getting? I really feel that um, I can make some of that onion top pesto. So maybe that would be the recipe that I'll show you. That is, it's so delicious. If you like onions, mm, that onion top pesto is delicious. So here we have all of our, um, these are our white onions, and then there's a mixture of red onions, white onions, green onions in the back there. And then over here on this side, we have some yellow onions red onions here in the center and then some more yellow onions right there on the side so that is pretty much what is happening on the farm a little breezy today i just need to get a lot of work done um it has been so stinking cold it has been probably out in the 30s in the early morning about 31 so so cold um so yeah so that is what's happening oh let me show you what's happening in the in the trailer as far as the seedlings go Okay, so the seeds that we started today were some more artichokes, some cucumber by Lake Valley, some beefsteak tomatoes, I think these are by Burpees, oh no, Lake Valley, some five-star cherry tomatoes, bronze torch tomato, and a pink Berkeley. Then we have two trays of the mammoth basil, and then two trays of sweet basil. We have a Katrina cucumber, and then another cucumber by Johnny Selected Seeds. And that's pretty much it. So now with these trays, I ended up getting another heat mat because my understanding is that the seedlings, the seeds don't need light until they have germinated. So all they need is heat. So once the seeds have germinated, that's when you put the light on top of them. See, I'm just learning these things and I had no idea. John knew these things and he kept telling me, but I just wasn't listening. So, <laughs> so that is what is happening. I am so excited to um to plant these in the big garden i have been drawing a map out let me show you all right so here is my little map of the garden and i have just been writing in here you know what i've been plant what i plan on planting and it's just a little rough draft so i'm going to do a lot of companion planting like i said and i have been learning a lot and reading a lot of um articles and there's a book that i'm going to get it's a uh, I forgot the name of it. I have it in my notes, but it's to help you plant, um, a, like, a, what is it? Companion planting. How to learn about different plants and how to how different com plants can combat pests. So I know that you can plant tomatoes and basil and lettuce together. You can plant spinach and carrots together. Um, let's see what else. Carrots, tomatoes cucumbers let's see cabbage cabbage and carrots tomatoes i think beans you could plant beans and broccoli together cauliflower and celery i mean there's just a whole list of things that you can plant together in the same garden bed so that's what i'm going to do i'm just going to do the it's called companion planting so that's what i'm going to do is i'm just going to incorporate a bunch of varieties of plants in one of the garden beds which in the beginning what i was going to do was plant like all carrots and then all um, cucumbers and things like that 
But as I've been reading up on it, uh, you know, a lot of gardeners recommend that we do this companion planting and um, incorporate flowers along with herbs and other things in your garden bed, and that'll help you combat um, pests. So that is my goal. I cannot wait for this uh, spring summer garden and show you what is going to be happening in there. And I'm going to do a few more trellising. Um, you know, I'm going to get a couple more trellises so I can put out there. We do have some um, fencing out in the field that I'm going to see if it's strong enough so that way we could, uh, you know, hang the tomatoes or trellis tomatoes up them. But we'll see. We'll see what we have. All right, so that's pretty much what's happening on the farm. I cannot wait to get our baby chicks. Um, they come March 26th, so that is so exciting, and I, yeah, I just cannot wait. Okay, so take care, be safe, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye-bye.